Rated M for Mature. Whoa, hold on, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, stop the video, stop the video, stop the video. Stop the video. There's a couple things I need to address real quick before the video itself begins. First of all, my lack of updates. Yeah, I got no excuses for it. I got absolutely nothing. I've just been getting rather lazy with updates, so... I just want to real quick apologize for that. I will be trying especially hard to, um, be combating that. So hopefully, somewhat soonish, you'll be getting more frequent updates for me, so I just want to apologize for that. And secondly, the audio quality for quite a few of these videos are going to be shit. Frankly, I recorded, the, I recorded these videos in bulk and my not as good as I thought would be desktop. There's, quite, there's uh, some skips every now and then, and the um, there's some static in some of the um, well, what I have to say in these videos. The next set of videos will have been recorded on another computer, so there's pretty much next to no audio issues. Oh no, I played some of them back. But I just wanted to quickly apologize for some of the setbacks. Anyway, let's begin after episode 4. After having our grace. Steal ready? I'm going to more or less play cat. You still want a drink? Yeah. I'll take a whiskey this whiskey. time. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. Mm. Yeah, they'll always order this. Here you go. <laughs> Oof. Oh, shit. I've never cheated in my life before. Oof. Cheating, huh? It's not like. Okay, that first line we haven't heard, the second line, Matt, so I'm just giving it. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia about whiskey. Now that you've emptied your glass, do you know what malt means? It can often be seen on alcohol labels. Malt refers to malted barley, a key ingredient. Yet, if it is labeled as malt whiskey, it must also be scotch. Single malt means that the malts used come from the same distillery. Malt whiskey can vary wildly in taste, depending on how it's made. So there are many different brands. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty already? You still want to drink? Ooh, yeah. Vincent, you are a heavy drinker. I need a beer. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Beer. worrying about it now. Just have to accept it as a one-time screw-up. Spoilers, this happens again. I know this is sudden. Cold beer can be amazing. But do you know the best temperature to enjoy a good brew? When beer gets too cold, the proteins solidify and cloud the beer, and it doesn't form a good head. It does vary by season, brand, and personal taste. But most beers are not recommended to be served at lower than 45 degrees Fahrenheit. That's already very cold. Be wary of bars that freeze their beer. And that was the beer trivia for tonight. Empty already? You still want a drink? No! We're not gonna stop here. No, I'm cool. By the way, this episode is not gonna be, um, farmers build as far as nightmare stages go. So we're good. You and Catherine have been together a long time, right? What was it like in the beginning? I just want to know for reference. <laughs> it wasn't anything special. It was at the reunion. He was giving her dating advice. Then he ended up falling for her himself, right? He ran to her side in the middle of the night when she was depressed after all. Hey, stop that. A stand-up guy like that turns out to be a cheater. <laughs> Seriously. 
right here when I talk Mr. Sleep around. You're actually really sensitive, aren't you? You don't look it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shut up. Gunny, what do you got? Thing about men who cheat being cursed? Apparently, it's related to those mysterious deaths. You mean, like how Paul died? Yeah. Word is, this is getting called the woman's wrath. <laughs> Sounds like something Erica would like to have. Hey, Paul's been here a few times, right? Yeah, he was a classmate of ours back in high school. I ran into him just the other day. Seriously? How was he? We just traded greetings, but he looked fine. Maybe I should have paid more attention. Hey, it's not your fault, man. Hmm? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, Erica's conspiracy is getting around! Maybe if I'd talked to Paul more, this wouldn't have happened. While you're in the you, bar, got you will sometimes receive text messages on your phone. Push you got a narrative. Uh, narrator. You interrupted the awesome got mail! How dare you interrupt the very awesomeness that is AOL! Sorry, I just had to. Okay, man. They say men who cheat get cursed. Curse? That's so stupid, I can't even laugh at it. <laughs> the timing's too good. Still, I can't believe you cheated. But if she's that cute a girl, maybe it's a lucky accident, huh? Don't say that. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> well, good luck keeping it a secret. Batter. Beg for her forgiveness. This isn't something forgivable. Damn straight, it's not. This, and this is coming from someone who's been cheated on. Well, she's a bit cold. But Catherine's a good girl. You don't have to tell me that. You got mail. I let that go through. Are you at the street keep again? Are you on drinking again? I came by your apartment today, but you weren't there. What are you talking about? I'll do it tomorrow. Oh yeah, your place is filthy. I told you. You have to empty the trash more often. Take it up this time. Start being more careful, okay? That's all. Good night. Sorry for the home. What did you want to talk about? You want to talk now? I think I know what you're gonna tell me. I'll be totally sure there's a mouth. Good night, Catherine. <sighs> Let's leave and talk to the other patients here. Stanley. We need to talk to, talk to Lindsay. We would like to talk to Martha. Would you like to speak to Lindsay? Would you like to speak to Martha? Oh, uh, sorry for staring. <laughs> Please sit. <laughs> Have you ever heard this story before? The man who climbed the highest mountain gets it. Oh, yeah. Yes, then. It said a man climbed that mountain 300 years ago and was given a fortune. It said a man climbed that mountain 700 years ago and was given the world. A man who climbs the mountain now will be given his future to do with as he pleases. Is this a fairy tale or something? These are true stories. The story of Rapunzel is based on this true story. A prince who was able to climb a very tall tower gained his princess. Now, what will you gain? Huh? Will you become the man of legend? Next. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> hey, Vincent. You guys just let me know, okay? See you later. You know you want to see it.
first, these guys. Also, I have to say real quick. Talking to Lindsay and talking to Mata. I find those two to be the most entertaining to talk to in the bar. Hey, guys. When you talk to other customers, they may talk to you about their worries. Encourage them from time to time. Listen, Archie, you've got to become a better man. I don't know how you're ranking it, but I'm not desperate to climb the social ladder. Men are only acknowledged by their upward mobility. Don't be a tumbleweed. Be like Ivy. Always climbing. And let me introduce you. And this is Todd, and this is Archie. Are you on your way home from the office? Or not? You're not wearing a suit. A suit? Oh, I don't have that kind of job. That's a shame. You're not one of our customers, then. What do you mean? We make business suits. Haven't you ever heard of Bantam suits? Have you heard the jingle? You'll be the cock of the walk in a Bantam. Oh, you're from Catherine's company. Hey, I think I've heard your voice before. Huh? Have we met? Maybe. Uh, think of it, but I, I don't remember anything. Todd's a hard guy to forget. His hair looks like a rooster, doesn't it? That's enough cock a doodle out of you. <laughs> oh, uh. Wow. You're sharp. You got me. Yeah, this right here. Oh. Um. Uh, uh. <sighs> I'm gonna fly now. Just meet me at the cafe for lunch. I'll be there. Please come. Good night. This is one of those things you definitely don't like tend to come and go, so there's that. but I feel like I wasn't even involved with it. Well, you were. I hate to be so confrontational, but jeez. Men who cheat are cursed. If that rumor is real, what are you going to do? Nothing, because it's not real. This is on the nose. I think Catherine started dating you because she just couldn't leave you alone. You're stupid in all the right ways. It tickles her maternal instincts. A dominant, independent personality like hers is usually attracted to mind like yours. Was that the way it is? <laughs> it does seem like it, actually. There's only two people left uh, that's worth talking to. Are they journalists? Legend, huh? If it's true. This customer is a journalist. 
He seems to be obsessing over a certain legend lately. A legend? I was originally looking into these suspicious deaths that have been happening lately. I'm Justin, by the way. Hmm. Have I met you somewhere before? Me. Think of it. Um, I'm sure I've seen you before. Oh, sorry. We were talking about the legend. Anyway, in my research, I found records indicating that similar cases occurred in hundred-year cycles. Many men died last time as well. It's the truth. Wow. Every hundred years, huh? I found a strange variation on this legend going around, too. Hmm? There's a man who survives it. Survives the dreams? Very, very rarely. There's a man who is cursed but doesn't die. Isn't that interesting? It's said that the survivor is granted one wish. If he wished for eternal youth, he might still be around. <laughs> it's like a magic lamp. Well, if this is what you're coming up with, you have a wish in mind for yourself? Hmm, to live forever? But too typical? Me? I wish for something different. Like what? I may wish to change the past and make someone kill me. Oh, uh, <laughs> I wonder what I'd wish for. That's depressing, actually. Yeah, I wonder if the woman's wrath rumor I heard about from Erica is real. She said that I was going to die somewhere along the line. Apparently, I have a wanting look to my eyes. Would I be cursed for unfaithfulness for this, too? Whatever. Still, she really rags on you, huh? Woman's dearest delight is to wound man's self-conceit. Uh, to wrangle the words of a certain someone. But tell me, do I look vain or otherwise untoward? I don't know, but in Erica's case, it's a bit different. Anyway, let's both avoid ending up cursed and dead. Time will slowly pass. Be have fun. We've already gone fun. over this. You can go home at any time from the. Funny as um, he was getting on saying that. Then. A couple things I do want to show. Which, um, to this. I'll show this another time, but. In here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you see? <laughs> Tonight you'll visit the torture chamber. Don't forget your boxers. <laughs> huh? Yeah, if you come in here and watch your face. You'll get a glimpse of what you'll be facing next. Say the beast. Now, because he talks about pain, let's come back and talk to the gang. I gotta go take a leak. Hey, uh, is it true Orlando's divorced? Huh? You didn't know? He got married while he was pretty young. Lost a lot of money in some scam, and his wife left him. He pretends not to mind, but I think it still gets to him sometimes. Even when his wife calls him, he... Huh? huh? What do you mean? Um, well, never mind. We'll, we'll talk about it later. I know mine is deep. Let's talk about it. Oh, is that the time? I should be heading home soon. Wow, is it that late already? No idea. I guess we're done today. Yeah, apparently. Quite a few customers come in to see Erica. It's great for me. I'm gonna head home. Excuse me. I also want to mention for those going forward towards the um, chaos rep, if you stay here after hours, you'll see the other captain. I 
think when you go for the other ending, it is pretty good for that. But, that being said, let's go! Hey, are you going home? Yeah, I'm feeling a bit tired today. Well, that sucks. Go home and get some sleep then. Anyway, be careful out there. I don't want to find out that you wound up crashed out in front of your place. Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. You don't have to tell me. Alright, see ya. Like Catherine, we'll be visiting the torture chamber. See you then.